Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed Saturday's stream. It got a little boring towards the end because I was taking my sweet time on trying to get the darn satellites into orbit. But it is sad that the Kerbal Construction mod wasn't working, so I actually couldn't build a colony on Duna. But for the most part it was pretty fun and I got a lot of good feedback. Anyway, in this video, I decided to try to build a second generation warship. Now obviously I've been doing this for a very very long time so it's not technically the second generation to be more along the lines of the 8th or ninth generation but for this game save in this version of KSP it is the second ship that I've built in the in the space plane hangar. The first generation also known as the Beowulf was more based on looks than actual function. Yes, it's had armor all the way around and the armor was designed to take or actually deflect impacts from torpedoes and missiles and stuff. And yes, it did have a weapons bay and escape pod system and all that good stuff. But it was kind of meshed together in order to create a pleasing to the eye futuristic look. Whereas this bad boy is 100% function over cool factor. I didn't care what it looked like. I just wanted it to work really really well now you might be asking well what about the lack of armor underneath the belly weapons of a fighter came in on the side and flanked it and that's true if the fighter had warp drive and could show up on the side of the ship very quickly the ship would probably have problems but in that instance i'm pretty sure it would have countermeasures for such an ordeal however in ksp you can't just whip up to the side of a ship in a heartbeat there's a lot of space in space in other words, in order for you to get up to the enemy craft, you're going to have to fly to it, and there's nothing in the way between you and the craft. In other words, before you even get anywhere near this thing, it's going to start firing at you. So if you can dodge its firepower, good for you. But more than likely, unless you're extremely lucky, your little fighter craft is probably going to get intercepted, not by missiles or torpedoes, but by drones. I thought about that when I was building this ship. What if a fighter was actually able, or a drone was actually able to reach it before it was destroyed? Well, obviously you fight fire with fire, so there's an actual drone bay in the back of this thing that launches drones in order to take care of smaller spacecraft that get too close. Or at least, that's the idea behind the design. Now the original box drone is kind of sluggish. It looks cool, but it's got a lot of part count and it's kind of sluggish. So I actually ended up building a second generation drone. It's a lot smaller and it actually looks a lot cooler than the older first generation that you see on the craft now. In addition, in comparison to the Beowulf class, the Beowulf kind of only has enough room to hold four smaller torpedoes, whereas this thing has enough room to hold four full-sized torpedoes, which is kind of nice. Now when the Beowulf class is under attack, it usually faces the enemy sidewards. In other words, its side is facing the enemy. So if it gets hit, the idea is that the weapons are, or the torpedoes or missiles, are deflected away above or below the craft. And in the event of a direct impact right in the middle of that side edge of the Beowulf class, there's a buffer there so not a whole lot of damage can take place. However, in this design, the forward front of the ship is facing the enemy. And so all of the sensitive equipment, i.e. crew and engines, are all hidden in the back of this large shielded nose of the craft. Now I added this interesting idea of having a type of heat shield on a piston. And not just a piston, but a piston with a hinge on it. So that if it got impacted by incoming torpedo, the hinges would sort of bounce and glance off, moving from either one side to another. The weapon would bounce or glance off, and the hinges would move one side to another like a wrist. And then of course the piston would absorb a lot of the impact along with it before it hit it, before it hit it hit the hit the nose of the warship causing any kind of damage so the torpedo would be severely slowed down before it hit the nose of the actual armor of the spacecraft now in tests this did very well and it took three direct impacts with very when i say full-size torpedoes these things have ore tanks on the front so they're extremely heavy going at two three hundred meters per second if you go too fast torpedoes tend to glitch to the target and you don't do any damage at all now that's just unity being unity for the game engine so around three to four hundred meters per second allows the game to be able to calculate the destruction very well so it's a good solid hit and this thing was able to take three of them and ditch the armor and fly to safety because of its modular design i really like it i think there's some more work 
work that needs to be done to it. It's very simple in its design. Kind of reminds me of a flying tank in space rather than an actual battleship. But anyway, let me know your thoughts about it. And uh, I might build different versions of it later on. But we'll see. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And thank you so much for being part of this channel. I am Veos, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.